Hello everyone, Super Reaction Bros here again, and today we have an unexpected release, early release for a trailer for Star Trek Beyond. Well, that really so, is unexpected. Let me, let me finish, oh, let me yeah. finish. He's the one that the double it's, double it's the third, it's the third movie in the Star Trek reboot movie series, and it's supposed to be bigger this time and stuff, and it was leaked today, and it was leaked so badly the studio was just like, screw it, let's just fully release the now, campaign. Now, it's supposed to be, it was supposed to be actually, I think, premiering, or at least yeah, the day before or something like that, introduced in front of, of all the freaking movies, Star Wars. Hey, look, essentially, they're, they're hitting the right mark on that. They're hitting the very right mark. In a way, right. they are, but at the same time, you're going to... Because remember, you have those Chucky fans, and then you got the war, the, the, the Wars fans, pretty much. And you're yeah. just like... They can clash at it with each other back and forth over and over but, again, but they were supposed to release this in front of, in front of the, the they're still going to release it in front of the new Star Wars film, but still, like you said, yeah. it's a fantastic way to promo it, especially the theater's going to be fucking packed like there's no tomorrow. Exactly. So let's check it out. Let's see. And this one, also, if you didn't know, was not directed by J.J. Abrams. No, it was directed by somebody different. Yeah. So let's see if hopefully <laughs> this, uh, Third one is as good as the uh, other two. And less two. lens flare, I guess. That's true, because, yeah. But, but let's get well, to let's it. Let's check it out. Let's see. Please no lens flare. Please no lens flare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. What the fuck? Is that music? It's a good choice. It's a good choice. Well played. Oh, please. We got it. No ship. No crew. How are we gonna get out of this one? We will find hope in the impossible. Ah. Well, at least I won't die alone. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bones. Well, that's just typical. <laughs> 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 Let's hope this doesn't get messy. This is where the frontier pushes back. What the hell is this? I know why we're here. Why we are all here. Okay, let's never do that again. <laughs> wow! Okay. Okay, first off, it's the choice of music for a Star Trek trailer. Star I said track. Trek. 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 Trek trailer. Which is, they used that song so, in the first movie. From what I remember was that, I remember hearing early talk about Star Trek 3 being that it's going to be more of an exploration movie. Which you've been wanting, too. You said that, that well, if they're going to do a third one, because there's a second well, one, now they're I, on exploration. I, enjoy, I enjoyed the first one. A second one I enjoyed, up until I found out, was essentially their interpretation of Rapicon, which now I'm like... Which now I'm like... Okay, it was still a good movie, I guess. And, and this they, one, I forgot, it's Justin Lin, who actually... Did the Fast and the Furious. Who actually helped revive the Fast and Furious movie and actually made them... Good, big, big, pretty much noticeable again. Um, and this no, because a while ago, even after watching the second one with uh, Fox here, it's he, he even he stated going if you're gonna do the third one right, they have to do the third one more this time when they're on the exploration. Because that's what Star Trek, the original Star Trek series, you know, they for. always got straight in on planets, exploring strange new worlds, you know, that yeah, whole part, that yeah. whole part, and that's what they're doing here. Even though they way really started it is a big shock from the looks of it. Enterprise is fuck is freaking destroyed. It's completely the crew, most of the crew is alive, but then captured. All and our, of them. And our core, you know, our core crew is somewhere S there. Scattered. Scattered around. Poor Bones is left there by himself. By the way, Carl Urban is the best part oh about all those Star Trek movies. Because he nails they nail well, even the, Forrest the uh, Kelly's uh Even Forrest the Kelly before he passed. rest in peace, passed away. Stated to Carl Urban going, 
it was flawless. His performance was flawless. He's because, the best part about the movie. Because he... he, he oh, okay, next to Scotty. Next to Scotty and stuff like that, but just his portrayal of Bones is spot on. By the way, Simon Pegg's the luckiest fucking nerd, because now he gets to start in a Star Wars movie. Star Wars and, and Star, Star Trek. Trek. So, he's one lucky motherfucker. So You can say he's now... Okay. He's, he's done both uh, Trekkie and Wars. Okay, from what we've seen, though, essentially, it's like... It's pretty much... A, it's going to be an episode of Star Trek. A normal episode of Star Trek. They get, stuck on, a like. they get stuck on a planet, and now shit happens. Shit's going to happen. They need to save the day. They need to save the day or save what's left of the crew in this case. In so, a way, it's, it, uh, that's what's going I on. I said the only biggest surprise was the freaking choice of music. <laughs> it was, that's what I was saying. At the end of it, that's what I was saying after the trailer is, that's the original song they used in the first trailer. Oh, oh yeah. The, for, the, for the first movie, I mean. And, and if you notice, now Chris Pine is slowly getting that off. Uh, yeah, he's slowly getting that, that, that look. That of, signature original Shatner Kirk look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And hopefully we'll get more of, of pretty much, in a way, how <laughs> Kirk is with his attitude uh, uh, like yeah. on the show. Yeah, still, best part. At least I'm not the only one. Uh, at least I'm not going to die alone. alone. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh, you gotta, you be, gotta kidding. be kidding me. So, I mean, it looks fun. Like I said, still song came out of nowhere, but. Well, hopefully, like, the, again, like all trailers, lots of times for these big hit movies, they always start them off strong, showing, hey, this is what they expect. And then, hopefully, in the second trailer, we'll get more of a story. Because well, here, you don't get much. And look, right now, it looks like somehow they. It looks like they discover a planet, but all of a sudden they get attacked, and now they're stranded on the planet. Yeah. And now they got to help pretty much whoever's living on that planet. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's interesting. I definitely uh, can't I, wait for I it. I can't wait. I definitely I've can probably the, check it out. I've seen, we've seen both both the first two movies in theaters. This one I may go see in theaters as well because yeah, I love definitely. I love how they're doing it. But I can't wait. I'm really super excited for this. Just like how I was, I was, I'm excited still right now for Star Wars, but. I definitely want. I want to check it out. If you're a Trekkie fan or even not a Trekkie fan, definitely check it out. So yeah, but other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to see the last video that we did, bam, right there. Just. And do you have a favorite Star Trek movie? That's it. That's, Star that, that's it. That's favorite what Star Trek. Not even that. Favorite Star Trek movie or your favorite Star Trek character overall. And all, the whole pretty much beyond universe, pretty much ah, for yeah, ah, beyond universe for the Star Trek, you know, from Genesis to Voyager to Enterprise, all of those. I mean, I, I, there's probably even more, but any of those, just comment below and let us know. But for now, I'm Fox, I'm Bruce, and that's been our episode of SRB. See ya later.